Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jeff from AutoHunter.com and today we're going to be looking at this wild 1968 AMC AMX Von Piranha Edition, which I know you're probably thinking, what in the world is that? But before I tell you all that, first, a quick word from our sponsor. Today's Auto Hunter Cinema video is brought to you by Land Air C. Keep tabs on all your valuable assets from the palm of your hand. Remember, with Land Air C, theft is temporary. Visit LandAirC.com or call 847-462-8100 to order your Land Air C GPS unit for your classic vehicle. So today I'm standing in front of a 1968 AMC AMX Von Piranha Edition, and I know this looks crazy with all sorts of hood scoops, exterior stuff that is all different from the typical AMX, but I'm gonna tell you all about this car. So this is one of 22 cars that was built specially by a dealer based out of Thoroughbred in Denver, Colorado called Thoroughbred Motors. It's a pretty interesting car, but one of the cool parts is that this car is actually a go-pack car. So that means it has the factory options from AMC that equip it with better handling, things like the uh, twin grab uh, differential in the rear and stuff like that. Essentially the stuff, in that you would normally equip an AMC for when you were going to take it racing. But Thoroughbred Motors out of Denver, Colorado has decided to take that one step further with a lot of the upgrades that have been done. So first thing is on the exterior, looking at this, you can see these air vents, which actually flood a lot of the air into the engine in there, which in this case would be the 390 rated at 315 horsepower. And let's go ahead and let's open that up and we'll show you what we're looking at here with the hood pins. So. There we have it in there. That's our 390 rated at 315 horsepower. As you can see, what's, one of the changes that was actually done to make this for the Thoroughbred Motors car is it does have a 950 CFM four barrel carburetor that's been replaced in there, along with some other heavy duty cooling options that have been done on the exterior. And then looking at some of the other bits on the side of the car here, we have some mag style wheels, which are believed that they could be part of the Piranha. It's kind of hard to tell all of the information with these cars because the, there were 22 and they were dealer specialty cars. So it's believed these could be uh, a Piranha option wheel, but it's hard to know. The only time that people have really spotted other Piranhas is there's a orange one that is apparently circulating the streets in Colorado. Now, let's show the other cool stuff about this car. So looking at this rear section of the car here there's actually two different air vents we have one here and then we have another vent here so this air vent is functional the same way that the ones on the hood flow into the engine this one actually has some uh, hoses behind here that you can't see behind the body that actually rotate some air and put it on the rear brakes making it able so you could actually use this amx if you wanted to take it for circuit racing for example that's something that you could do with this one these are not currently functional but there is a rumor that supposedly if you wanted these to be functional, you could actually cut a hole in the interior compartment and some of the race cars would actually use it to help cool the interior cabin. So that's where that part comes in. But with it mention of the cabin, let's go ahead and let's take a look to see what's going on on the inside of this AMX. So this car has actually been equipped with an automatic transmission as you see in there which is not your typical uh, transmission, what you would expect for a race car per se, but it looks pretty good in what is a very cool car, everything else aside. Black interior, roll up windows, pretty cool. So that's a quick look at that interior. Of course you could have cut in if you wanted to add things like the vents later. Coming around to the rear here, we can actually see some of the hoses. If you take a look in here, we have some of the hoses that can actually be used um, where they come in from those vents and actually route down to the bottom where they can go ahead and fuel the uh, go ahead and cool down the brakes in the rear which is a pretty important part for circuit racing other than that pretty normal pretty typical just one of the cool details to show off some of the functionality in this car because it's very interesting we really don't see these this is possibly the nicest condition piranha that we even know to exist this car specifically has been featured in various magazines and things like that so it's a very notable car with only 35,000 original miles on it very cool especially seeing something like this that you could even compare per se to yankos and things like that in terms of rarity and sort of how they were developed despite not having a copo program from amc but if you guys enjoyed that video and want to purchase a collector vehicle for yourself, be sure to check out autohunter.com, which is our online auction and has vehicles going live every single weekday. So be sure to check that out. We'll have a link below. And if you guys like the video, could throw us a like, we'd really appreciate it. And you can subscribe as you release videos like this regularly. And with that, thank you so much for watching.